around, make sure you subscribe and be our friend. This is Aladdin and his lamp. Oh, it's such a good story. Yeah, it's super, super cool story. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, this is the story of Aladdin and his lamp. Aladdin and his mom never had enough to eat, and they were told about the magical lamp. And there was a strange looking man who tricked Aladdin and told him he was his lost uncle, but he's really a wicked magician. He lied to Aladdin and told him he would make him rich and buy him new clothing. So he made Aladdin interested and he told him that he would give him anything he wanted. He's tricking Aladdin to tell him he's gonna make him rich. Well, you know when you're hungry, you don't have food, you want food. And nice clothes look so nice and they look good on TikTok and Instagram. So the next day, the magician said he would show Aladdin what was things. I led the boy out to the countryside and he sat, stopped and asked Aladdin to help him build a fire. He said, abracadabra. Open sesame. And with these words, the earth shook and a stone with a brass spring in the middle appeared on the ground. What is that? A stone with a brass ring. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so cool. So cool. Yeah. And then Aladdin was frightened and he wanted to go home, but the magician refused. Lift the stone and go down into the cave below, he said. You will find a magical garden with jeweled fruit on the trees. Take some jewels. Bring me only the lamp, which is burning in the garden. So there he goes. He saw the magical lamp in the garden. He gave Aladdin a magic ring. As he did, he was told he found the garden lamp. When he returned to the cave entrance, the magician wanted the lamp at once. And lamp had, Aladdin didn't want to give him right away. He grew angry and closed the cave, shut in Aladdin's inside. <gasps> no, he shut the cave. In his fight, Aladdin touched the ring on his finger. A genie appeared. What do you wish for, old master? He said. I want to get out of this cave, said Aladdin. And just like that, he found himself outdoors again. <gasps> he got a magic genie. Yes, that's so cool. Oh, wow. So, that mean old magical magician, that's what you get for being mean to Aladdin. Aladdin hurried home and told his mother what had happened. Oh, that's quite a story, but we need food. I'm so hungry. She said, I will polish this lamp and we will sell and buy some. Uh-oh, look what happened when they polished the lamp. As soon as she touched the lamp, a genie appeared. What do you wish, madame? Aladdin asked for food. In a twinkle of an eye, Ginny brought 12 dishes covered with good things to eat. So much food. Oh, yes, we're very hungry. Oh, and food is good for nutrition. I'm so hungry for a nice juicy apple and some grapes and some cheese and some red, red grapefruit juice and some orange juice. Aladdin and his mother had no worries about food. Days passed, but Aladdin's adventures were not over. One day, he he saw the lovely princess Budar al Budar. Oh, seeing her, he fell in love. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, I am in love. Aladdin told his mother he wanted to marry the princess, the daughter of the Sultan. What? Impossible, she said. However, she went to see the Sultan, taking the jewels as a present. The Sultan told her to come back for later. When she returned, the Sultan asked her for forty golden trays filled with jewelry. With the help of the genie, this was done. Look. 40 trays of jewelry is what the Sultan wanted. He's greedy. He likes gold and jewels and money. It's good to be rich, my dear. So the Sultan was pressed with the gifts and told Aladdin he could marry the princess. Overjoyed, Aladdin ordered the genie to build her a beautiful palace. After the wedding, the happy couple moved in. <gasps> they got married. And look at the beautiful, big, giant palace home they live in. The news of Aladdin's rich, riches reached all over the world and reached the ears of the magician. He knew that Aladdin must have the magic lamp and he was determined to get it. I will get that magic lamp, said the evil magician. One day when Aladdin was away, he stood outside the palace with baskets of lamps calling new lamps for old. Not knowing the old lamp in the palace was magic, the princess gladly exchanged it with the magician for a new one. Oh, that sneaky, sneaky, sneaky magician. 
is taking the genie with them. Oh my gosh. When is it night, the magician rubbed the lamp and asked the genie to carry the palace to Africa. Aladdin returned to find his palace gone and his princess gone too. So he rubbed the magic green until he wore and asked to be taken to wherever his palace was. How can a whole palace be moved by a magical genie? Well, it's a story, and magic can happen in stories. At once he found himself outside the prince's window. He ordered the palace, seized the magicians, and conquered him. How dare you take my home and my wife, you mean all magician? Yeah. So Aladdin rubbed the lamp once more. He asked the genie to take him, his palace, and the princess home again, and they lived happily ever after. I will do as you command, Aladdin, because I am a genie, and your wishes... You just ask me for a wish, and that can come true. Oh, great. This is awesome. Fan, wasn't that fun? 